Um, so uh, just uh, before we leave this discussion, and you, mi- I know you missed most of it, but what's your take on the the notion that you have to fail in order to succeed as somebody from Survivor Boot Camp? <laughs> Yeah, I think you definitely, I think you have to uh, fail and then uh, get good enough, no, uh, get good at it enough times and then you'll uh, you'll learn from your mistakes and then you'll succeed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you don't, you don't know what you're doing wrong until you fail too, so. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of Survivor Boot Camp, photo op time. <laughs> okay. Everybody check out the infamous Johnny K on Facebook because... It's time for a photo here. All right. So, we, oh, right. and we have Mr. Survivor Bootcamp Man. Come on in here. Come on in. Are you good? Or is he no, shy? He'll, he'll come in. He's not shy. Oh. I almost forgot that I was still filming, by the way. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hi. It's Mr. Survivor Bootcamp Man. Uh, do you like that nickname? Not bad. Not better, bad. better than Byzantine Condit, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! I forgot about that. Okay, okay, that's all right. So, anyhow, Lindsay here. Let, let's use your real name for now. We'll, it'll be one of the few times we do that. But, but you have a new thing going on, and I'll let you explain it, because you can do it way better than I can. Yeah, so um, I opened the Abbotsford Survivor Boot Camp franchise. Um, I think it was open a few years ago, I think about four or five years ago, but we just started it up here again. Um, I've been working for them for about three years now, and it's a great way to get in shape, um, because as the exercises, you could probably tell from the word boot camp, is hard, right? Huh. So, <laughs> yeah, so... You can read it from... from yeah, and then, and then this <laughs> week is going to be um, a free week, and we're starting up uh, actual classes next week. And we just started promoting it, so it's brand new. Um, we have a Facebook page, Abbotsford Survivor Fitness. Yeah, so... Okay, well, tell, tell us about the free week going on. Uh, so the free week, there's um, different class options. There's a 6 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and 6 p.m. Um, and to register for all of those, you have to go online and make sure you fill up the, the registration online and the waiver, and that way I know that you're coming too, right? So... Uh, what kind of waiver do we have to sign? Like, if we get killed, it's, it's not a, your fault? It, yeah, it's a, it's a liability waiver, so, like, it's similar with all the gyms and that kind of thing, right? Yeah, and the laundry football league, they have to sign waivers there. Hey! Hey! Hey, we have finally a female here that we can ask. <laughs> what is your opinion of the laundry football league? Uh, well, I told um, my husband, Mr. Survivor, I said... <laughs> Mr. Survivor. Mr. Survivor. There's a lot worse things than laundry football, so... Exactly. I mean, it's, it's not the it's not the worst thing in the world, and um, if it's you know it's it's good. That, well, if you don't you know, like it, just ignore it. If you don't like it, just ignore it. And the people that do like <laughs> it should like it, right? Exactly. But what about all the stuff about oh, but it perpetuates uh, objectifying women and it's demeaning and 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 a, a, a psychologist. I don't know actually what she is. But you help me out here, bicycle man. I can't remember if she was a psychologist, but she was a, a worker with abused women or something. And she claims in an article that people who like the Lingerie Football League, whether they think it or not, they actually condone rape. They condone rape? They condone rape. That's a pretty uh, outlandish I, statement. Well, it's, a, it's the women's choice to be up there in, in the first place, right? Yeah, but, yeah. I mean... Same thing goes if you don't like it, then don't watch it, right? But um, I wouldn't do it personally. Okay, but, fair enough. You know, if you don't like it, don't watch it. <laughs> hey, okay, f- fair enough. I think that's a re- um, you. I realize you're busy, no. but if you can make it next Wednesday between 12 and 3, oh, yeah. you're very welcome to be here because controversial. Left. Well, and we we do want we do want more females here because yeah. it might not look good if we have one laundry football league player. And two men here? Oh, yeah. It would help us to spell the myth that we're just a bunch of bro dudes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But... Because me and, me and Johnny are actually pretty sensitive dudes. Although, like, although I have to admit, I am pre- You've known me for a couple of years now. Yeah. Aren't I fairly girly sometimes? You are. You're, yeah. you're a sensitive guy. I'm uh-huh. a sensitive guy. Yeah, you've helped me out over, over my heartbreak and all that stuff. Okay. Now, let's just move on a bit. I, I want to know a little more. What 
when did you get into this boot camp stuff? I got in uh, 2010. So I started working for Survivor, um, Survivor Fitness, or Survivor Boot Camp Surrey. And I was with them. That was my very first training job. And then um, started working for a few other places and then started working Survivor Boot Camp New West. And now I bought my own franchise. So. Well, that, that, that's cool. Are you are in partnership with anybody or is it all yours? It's all mine. Okay, cool. I'm the partner. Yeah, he's the partner. He's the boss. <laughs> sure. Well, that's right. Because he's the man. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, there must have been um, a particular reason that you started this, or was it just one day you woke up and said, "Hey, I'm a survivor. I'm gonna keep on surviving at boot camp." No, I am. Um, I well, I, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, five, six years ago, I was about two sixty. And lost all the weight, and then I started training for Survivor Boot Camp, and then lost quite a bit more. And um, it, just to be there to help, you know, I see people struggle, and you know, I think that's my main thing—not get down there and do it without any reason, but uh, just, just uh, motivating, right? And it's probably—it's the best job. Yeah, you're really enjoying it. Oh, I, I love it. You There's mean nothing else. That- Nothing else I'd rather do, not even, not even Panago. So. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Not even, not even Pizza Palace. <laughs> but that, but that, that's good. That, that's the exact question I was going to ask. I was just going to change the name for... <laughs> but anyway, that's okay. That's okay. You're welcome to... Yeah, we just opinion. like their pizzas. We just like the pizza. Okay. I, like, I like ordering shrimp pizza with no shrimps. To <laughs> 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 oh, enjoy ordering a, a, pizza, a piece of crust. <laughs> oh, I'll just take the crust with no cheese. Just the crust. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's. I, I have a song here dedicated just to you. Well, and Mr. Survivor Bootcamp, man. It's Survivor. I was going to play the nine and a half minute Calderon Club mix, but instead I've opted for the remix extended version, which is just four minutes and 24 seconds, featuring the brat. The brat. Yeah, that's right, the brat. So here we go, and we'll be back to talk fitness. All right. 